Hi guys, welcome to part 16 of my 2023 Christmas Village full tutorial series. My bad, two weeks since my last part, never heard before. But I had to deal with an annoying cold, so I wasn't really in the mood for Christmas Villaging, nor do I have the strength to do it. Without speaking of my voice, my nose, my face, my everything. Something I prefer not show on camera. But right now, it's time for some more changes. I finally had the time to finish 3D modeling all the remaining parts of the cathedral that you can see right now. But once I finished everything, 3D modeling, 3D printing, I noticed something very, very, very annoying as my cold. And so I will just need to modify some freshly new done parts. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, then I will switch to the other camera, guys, because I'm not really convinced, and I'm here, guys, hello, guys, I'm not convinced about that Carolus there. Not that good looking for what I have in mind, so maybe I will eliminate them not physically, obviously, but I will eliminate them to reserve some more space for something else. Then, then I will need to work intensively on the carnival section. Maybe I will switch this ice pond with something else, because I'm not really convinced also about this here. Too big space occupied by the ice pond, the skating ice pond. Uh, the Tannenbaum clock watch is still there, also, mm, where to place it, I don't know. Then some more modification, I will need to work there, because I will need to slide everything to work there, to place some grass, to place some more uh, balusters and everything else, some street lamps. Because then these will be fixed, no more changes, and I will continue working on the perimeter. I will need to work intensively now on what I uh, will have a problem to reach this one, yes, but I haven't finished modeling everything for the new uh, building. Switching back again to this camera, guys, simply because uh, I will also show you dessert or dessert hot air balloon also modeled it also primed it not painted it but i will show it to you and the second hot air balloon the one it's not there the red one is now airborne i used the same technique to um, air, um, put it in the air with the four ropes modified with some epoxy resin I will not show you how I did it because you already seen me doing it for the first hot air balloon, but now it is 67 centimeters tall, not really tall, but in the air, 67 centimeters, Who? and uh, I will try to place it maybe in here, in here, okay guys, but I still don't know. Uh, then some more works, an entry for the ca carnival section, as someone has suggested to me, there is no entry, <laughs> entrance for the carnival section. And then the new background, obviously the new background, I had the time to buy last Saturday when my cold wasn't that aggressive, when I went to Peraga store, to Peraga Christmas store, as I always do in this season, obviously. And then, and then what else? The new building, you haven't seen the first unboxing because I reserved that for the first unboxing and full review of it, but I will try to place it somewhere because I need a new building from, for each season. Enough talking, too much. Let's do something for you. Eureka guys, I finally had the time to 3D model and obviously to 3D print all the remaining parts, all the remaining segments of this gigantic cathedral 
that will be paired with my scriptorium from last season. EPIA, guys. Big building. 39 centimeters from this point to this point. So this is 40 to 45 centimeters by 20 centimeters. And this is the plant. One entry, one other entry, the main structure, and here the sanctuary that has been a hell to 3D model, especially the second level. This is the first level, the second level, and the third level also. Uh, plant there. And I already shown you what will be this other part here. This is the part that will go on top of that first level there, like that. And I obviously tried to model the windows as they were on the scriptorium from last season to give the cathedral some continuity to everything else. So what I have here, I have also a little balcony there and I measured that uh, in, I measure it in order to get it able to accommodate a figurine if I wanted to. So obviously I also miss the doors there, the main entrance doors that are modeled guys. I can show you those are the two doors, one for this entry, this entry here that is this squared like that and one for this entry here I still need to clean them then to assemble it but I'm not there yet this plant here with the second level that will go like that and from three centimeters we get up to 13 centimeters. So 10 more centimeters. Okay, huge building. Then I also shown you very quickly in part 15, this front part here that I still need to clean a little. Not entirely clean it properly. like that with uh, with a couple of wall torch there okay a couple of wall torch here the front uh, a big window this is a cathedral this is not a scriptorium i think I will not add any glass behind the windows as every cathedral would have been like that in medieval times so and one of the reason I will not assemble it from the beginning I should yes normally I should have attached the three main segments like that, glue them together, then add the second level here, then the second level in front. But if I do that, I risk to not be able to get the keys. Okay, the holes, I call these the keys the keys to assemble everything, those two keys there, that goes inside those two holes there. I, I was saying I will not be able to accommodate the keys inside the holes very easily. So it will be for the final step once everything is painted, once everything is done. 
Then I also shown you the back. This is the back wall from this main entrance here. This is the inside, this is the outside with some uh, bricks there. A little problem with the 3D printer there, but I will uh, repair those little damages <laughs> in the very final step. And these will go like that. Okay. And those parts here were the last parts I sh uh, showed you, I shown you uh, during part 15. Now, the hell part there, guys. This is the second level of the sanctuary, guys. Very difficult because of these circular wall there. Initially, I had in mind to make some windows like those one here, but windows are <laughs> built, in, are inserted in flat walls, on flat walls, generally not on uh, curved, rounded walls like this one, at least not in medieval times because they didn't know how to do that nowadays with uh, alum aluminum uh, windows, with uh, um, composite uh, materials and uh, glass that can be shaped as you, whatever you want, it is more um, doable. So what I did, I continue having the same uh, design for the windows there, but here, what I did instead, I started by modeling a rounded wall, no problem at all. Then I reinforced the wall with some uh, supports there in order to support the walls <laughs> like they would have done in medieval time. But I had a complete blind wall. So what I did instead, I modeled this arcade version here, a little narrower but, and a little shorter. Then multiplied it one, two, three, four, eight times. Then made it made them as a solid so I've extruded them uh, in order to have like uh, something to get through the wall okay to get through the wall and make a hole uh, it is a boolean operation a boolean subtraction subtraction sorry it's pure geometry applied once again don't ever say again, what will geometry and maths do for me in life? I hate maths in high school or middle school. This is what it is useful math. So I modeled those parts here. Then I placed it on my Rhino 3D software in oriented like that, 8. Then I told my software, remove those eight volumes, those eight shapes, those eight entity from the wall, subtract them from the wall. The software did it and it created some shaped holes in the wall. The procedure is standard, getting whatever you want, then eliminate, subtract something else. And this is symmetrical. I did only one window there, second one is the same. So I used what it is called a specular way, then the all in the same way, then this is the design I already done for last season scriptorium. And this is the middle, so this is exactly symmetrical. No no 
another things to do then to uh, make a specular version of it and that's all guys not a window yes and also a little niche inside for some statue i haven't had the time to model statues and little statues those are other two niches there and there as inside cathedral were plenty of little statues okay and this goes like that guys let me try to show you the front okay then on the final recap it will be more clear and the second level is there third level a flat level or a roof this is a tall building already 13 centimeters plus something else let's go up but let's try also to get the roof completed okay one little thing i don't know right now if i will ever use it but instead of having a figure in there i on the balcony there i also modeled this little piece what is that because it, you cannot recognize it maybe yes maybe not it is a pipe organ that were the main way to project music into the cathedral from a higher level like that and these can go inside here like that and this will be an organ i don't know if i will use it but anyway it isn't uh, glued with anything so first let me paint it then i will decide if i will use this organ this pipe organ there or not for the roof I told I, I I wanted something taller extra taller but also trying to get the roof done this is the part that will go in here guys what I modeled I modeled the first part of the roof not very well 3d printer I have a, a little scratch inside I I hate hiding you things that didn't come didn't get together very well but this is the inside of the roof so not visible at all from the outside so i didn't reprint this once again and also here something that will go even more higher than the second level so this will go like that and these as an eight of inside five centimeters not enough for a, a regular figurine because i added to uh, model this with the same uh, scale of the scriptorium and also the scriptorium would have uh, no non, not would have as the same problem inside figurines are taller than the scale of the building but it's natural with lemax slash limax uh, and every other producers here like that etc here for the middle part nothing else than a classic roof shaped as a v roof in this case another v roof there and another niche there for another statue that i don't have and this is just wood it has the pattern of wood and this is just the support for the roof so this is super free 3d printed and guys uh, very difficult to 
show you this building, but this is how huge this will be. Now, the height has reached 27 centimeters. And the final part of the roof there, it's like that. Nothing complicated to model this part here because it's simple geometry, a triangle there, going that, and then a flat surface. But I also needed a way to add a roof on the sanctuary section. Why not doing this? It's something very strange. I hadn't other solution than to have uh, a big, long, uh, piece of roof there, of tail there, okay, like that. It's not natural, but it was my only solution to model this. And this will go Oof, very difficult for me to let you. Yeah, I lost the back wall like that big gigantic uh, piece there 27 centimeters let's close the roof no guys let's go up 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 this will be a roof that will close this part here simple guys like that simple roof with some supports and this is to uh, insert it correctly where it needs to be inserted like that okay but then this is not the end I also modeled this conic shape here this tall end of the cathedral like that Or I don't have the giant ruler with me. Here we go, guys. The giant ruler's 50 centimeters. This is 50 centimeters tall. Now, guys, let's talk briefly about a problem I noticed just three days ago after ending everything. I want this to be illuminated to get lights inside and outside. For the outside is a simple. This section here and this section here, those two segments have some wall torches there, two here and two there. Good. The problem, last season and those wall torches here are almost in scale with the building and the figurines. The problem, last season I've used those flickering lights here, those flickering tea light here, and they are flickering, guys. You can see that the light is flickering, okay? Outside and inside the scriptorium, good. The problem, this is the flickering LED that is inside those T lights there. But this LED here is bigger than the top of the wall torch there. Here you can see. Too big. I don't have micro LED, flickering micro LED to get inside there 
and to complete this wall torch. Okay, it is too big and I don't have the space for the wire for the two, for the positive and the negative wire. So, what I decided to do, I decided to reshape those wall torches there. Okay? Not precisely reshape, but enlarge them. And this is the result, guys. Now, if I use this LED there, it fits inside with no problem at all. And I don't know if you can see it, but I even modeled a hole inside. Okay. And inside this pipe here, this tube, this pipe here, I also have a hole and here too. This will let me get a couple of wires, positive and negative, inside the wall torch. But I already have wall torches there. Those are a little bigger. What I'm trying to say here, I will use these wall torches here and I will need to cut off those ones here and replace them with these ones like that.
good. Now the cathedral has the front wall torches there, okay? They are one, two, three, and four. And then I also added the three more inside, one here, one there, and one here on top of the balcony there. It is accessible from, you can get access to it from the balcony, and this one is ground level, and this one too is accessible, okay? You can get access to it. I done it one to the opposite of this, and this will go this way, so cross, the light will cross here and cross here, and this one will cross there.
stand by you when you're falling when the river is calling said i love you forever we can make it together what goes up must be down there's lots of friendly faces all around No apologies for days and 
final recap of part 16 of the 2023 series. Yes, that is the third other balloon of my fleet. I even modeled a little signpost there, balloon ride. This is absolutely strange design, I know guys. Uh, very, very unique. And also the basket there, plain wood like that. The ropes are the, almost the same as the r red hot air balloon. Still need to paint everything. It is just assembled and then primed. Uh, ropes, a big daisy on top of here, then some ornaments all around here and there, and the basket is there. I don't know right now if I will put it in the air or leave it on the ground, but let me show you something, guys. There, up, 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 up. And finally the outer balloon, the red one, the second one is in the air. Guys, look how high in the sky it is. 67 centimeters from the ground there. 67 centimeters. If I'm getting to the, towards the other side, it doesn't even reach half. This one, yes, I still need to finally position it and reassemble it but this is just 35 to 40 centimeters this is 67 centimeters from there from there to the basket there 67 centimeters and it stands guys i can even shake it you can see that it, i'm shaking it look i'm shaking it and it resists the torsion, etc. I don't know if this one will be airborne, as I told you, and I also don't know if I want a fourth one, sorry, a fourth one, guys, but here we go. The carnival. Uh, it's almost a complete, guys, the one, two, three, and four street lamps, one, two, three, four street lamps from this side, and one, two street lamps here. They are bright, pure white, bright, clear. So mm, this one will project light on this attraction, this one on the um, birded woman and then everything else. And also a little bit toward the uh, Anubis. Then I will place another street lamp on top of here. And that one that is there but not yet connected will project lights on the cage there but also this one will project on the cage and everything else um, oops little problem with the acrobat there I just saw her and she fell down while I was moving the platform sorry Greta like that and like that Okay, guys, so even acrobats from this side. What else is new, guys? Uh, I got a comment saying, come on, no entry for the carnival section. So I modeled it carnival. I painted it with some balloons, some poison ivy, poison ivy sorry, or just ivy on getting a around one of the shaft there some balloons there then carnival it is blue painted in blue with iridescent silver so it is a little shiny same design same horns same viking design as everything else maybe a little more exaggerated than these horns here viking horns but these two as viking horns guys and carnival now it has an entry, Madame Zaza is there, uh, the stage with the magician is there, and the juggler, uh, other jugglers, and then the stage here, guys, is finally painted. I painted it with some strange colors that are similar to the colors I used for the carnival entry, guys, but now uh, the lions there, etc. 
it tends to get where I want it to get. Also, I've uh, uh, slided here and there the circus there, the puppet circus that was here. Then uh, what else I uh, slided? Uh, yes, uh, just one boot there, the teddy bears, because I love teddy bears, guys. This is the teddy bears boot there. I've removed the tosser ring boot uh, because uh, maybe it was too much. Last season I had the three boots, ticket, teddy bears and toss the ring. This season just one teddy bears with the lady selling teddy bears. The cage is there, the other, and that is the Colorless Cafe guys. This is the new building for this 2023 season and uh, I bought it last week uh, uh, during my uh, field trip to Peraga uh, still need to connect it but uh, one thing is for sure uh, and I will approach a little more from this side too uh, the carolers there are not in scale this is a pity for this beautiful building I can show you with maybe you can see that this figurine here is in scale with all the other figurines but the figurines there are not in scale maybe I will replace them I haven't decided yet but this is full of light I will um, connect it to the sector for next time the base there four ropes guys one two three four and to secure the rope there to secure the hot air balloon to the ground I've also added this rock there then I will add some grass even there and I will paint the uh, the pins there but I need to secure the pins so I used this little uh, rock here to get it secured on one, from one side there oh, sorry guys there okay and then this one is pushing against this rock here so it gave it give it gives stability to everything else and uh, the hotel balloon i've already told you about the hotel balloon that is there uh, from this side finally i think i will remain with this uh, rounded platform for cannonball man so here we will have uh, some more scenes to to get and i moved some of the buildings and now the french bakery is here and uh, the santa's uh, storytelling is there the church carlos cafe uh, the building and the school guys is here the school this is the school so almost everything is there and then guys from the distance and you have already seen it while i was spanning the cathedral not yet painted guys but i was lucky because three more centimeters no five more centimeters but i still miss uh, the little pointy thing on top of everything and the cathedral would haven't fit under everything else from a closer look that was gigantic the scriptorium from last season but this one guys i don't know the effect once painted here yeah, but it will take me so much time to to paint that but now we have almost everything i want and i still miss some more uh, fences there uh, i don't have them so i will need to um, print them because i modeled them last season and then paint <laughs> a lot of painting to do uh, i've removed the ice pond from here and uh, placed it near the windmill guys like that here so this will be a scene apart. I will most probably add a stair here, a little passage with a stair here to get access to this level from this side. Uh, here, a little stair, but I don't know. I, I hate having isolated uh, standalone levels. So 
I will get uh, something uh, for next part I think the windmill is there uh, so I removed the carolers not the quite the good effect but uh, here this section will be reserved for a park guys I still need to have uh, a leisure space so I will add a park here maybe a cloister garden because uh, scriptorium cathedral why not a cloister garden there but I'm still not sure about it I will need to model something for next time some uh, um, little cards there I will add still need to add some uh, props there but it's taking the proper look yes I know I haven't prepared anything for that but believe me <laughs> working with a cold is not ideal guys having a cold for one week is not ideal Fred is there I will need to add some more pavements there okay and uh, but it's taking the look I want Mm, then uh, maybe a new type of wall I will uh, uh, tri uh, not 3d print but I will print on some paper some new walls mm, and then uh, so many figurines to add but guys I've already took out from the storage all the figurines plus the ones uh, new the new ones and uh, guys but just can I go higher with can I go up to one meter and still have the ropes resisting the torsion and allowing me to get another balloon at one meter let's say there I don't know guys I will try something these I thought initially that this was very exaggerated very tall very high in the sky but now guys what do you think about this one uh, what else I did nothing particularly uh, it, it took me so much time to add the lights to the cathedral inside etc uh, but it, uh, it, it was something I had to do I don't know if I will ever add some statues inside but I'm already thinking about the camera that will need to slide there to get a decent look to the scriptorium and the cathedral once everything will be complete uh, I will need to model something more for the building there uh, what else I don't know guys no nothing else but uh, now after you after this part 16 you know how difficult it is to work in the middle of a layout having so much distance from the borders <laughs> these I don't know I will be able to work it hmm. maybe I will have to dismantle the little corner there before working on the corner to get access to the park next time I will surely work on the park and once everything is finished there I will t I will finish everything is peripheral I had plenty of scenes there uh, what do you think should I put this up in the air right now I don't know it is the heaviest one because this one is resin that one was filament printed and that one too that is the lightest the lighter of the of the trio mm, this one is a little heavier but this one is very heavy because even if it is all wet inside it is empty inside it is heavy guys I don't know if I will be able to put it in the air and if I have uh, some more space I will try also to add a four a fourth hot air balloon but right now I don't know I must concentrate on painting and then modeling some more thing uh, that's all guys 
67 centimeters, guys. Yes, I am a real thrill seeker. But I was wondering, can I reach one meter from the ground to the basket? Will I be that crazy to attempt such a risky thing? Maybe yes, but I am crazy, but not desperately crazy. So first I will need to do some calculation, rope diameter, uh, length, one meter, weight and torsion implied in this solution there. And if I get a minimum 55 to 60 percent of go, I will try to do it with that outer balloon. I don't think so because it is too heavy, but with the next one, maybe yes. In next part, I will need to concentrate on the remaining empty section there, the park section, park section, sorry, as I told you, because without those escape points here, it will be a hell second version to work there if uh, I complete the first the, the perimeter. So I will concentrate on that, adding street lamps, finishing the strange building there, and then doing something more, guys. Uh, this needs to be uh, modified a little bit, minor adjustments there, but I can reach everything right now I need to change. Maybe next part will also imply modify once again something because I'm not there yet, but it's starting to get there. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke, guys, but it's very late, almost 4 a.m. So please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and see you for part 17. Mm, 17, but only if you really wish. Bye.